In 2022, geologists discovered that the world's biggest dam, named the Three Gorges, provokes earthquakes in the Chinese province of Sichuan. What's more, in 2005, NASA claimed that the enormous amount of water in the lake behind the dam delays the rotation of Earth by 600 a second. Today, the reservoir stores 40 trillion kilograms of water. On top of that, 80 cracks appeared on the dam structure shortly after it was filled for the first time. And even though catastrophic dam failures happen almost every year, nobody stops the operation of the Three Gorges because it needs repairs. In this video, I'll show you the top 10 most terrible dam bursts in human history and explain why the Chinese power station could collapse at any moment. One of the biggest disasters in Michigan was caused by the lack of proper dam maintenance. In 2020, the Edenville Dam, which was situated at the confluence of the Titabasai River and the Tobacco River, suddenly broke. The structure was an oath embankment reaching 16 m in height and approximately 2 km in length. It was built back in 1924. In 2018, the license of the company that privately owned the Edenville Dam was terminated. It was already evident that the construction wouldn't be able to withstand heavy rains and floods. Two years later, after numerous rainstorms had hit Michigan, the water in the reservoir rose to a record level and the dam failed. Its eastern side collapsed and the water gushed downstream. Sixteen kilometers away from this location, there was a Sanford Dam, which couldn't handle such a tremendous overflow of water. As a result, authorities had to evacuate around 10,000 people. The Titoe River crested at 10.6 m and flooded three inhabited areas at once, Edenville, Sanford, and Midland. If the Edenville Dam had been modernized before it was too late, most probably the catastrophe wouldn't have happened. A similar story took place at the Namau Dam in Laos in 2017. A small dam built for a local hydropower facility broke after heavy rainfall. A meter-high wave washed away rice fields and entire villages in the area. Houses of local people ended up buried under a layer of dirt about 40 centimeters thick. It cost the country more than a million dollars to clear the fields, repair the dam, and pay compensation for the damage. And just a year later, the collapse of Saddle Dam D took the lives of 40 Lao citizens. More than a thousand people are still considered missing. A raging torrent of water wiped out everything in its way. It leveled roads bridges, and houses, leaving over 6,500 people homeless. But one of the most horrifying disasters caused by the lack of routine maintenance and timely repairs happened back in 1976. The Tayton Dam was situated on the river of the same name in the state of Idaho. It was an Ain Dam reaching 93 m in height and almost a kilometer in length. One year after it was erected, engineers noticed several seepages in the dam's right abutment. They were so small that nobody was actually worried. Two days later, a breach appeared in the wall and began to discharge water at 57,000 cub m per second. This is five times more than the average flow rate of Niagara Falls. Within a few hours, the reservoir of the dam completely emptied. As a result, a territory of approximately 780 square kiln was flooded. Small farming towns on the riverbank were literally washed off the face of the earth. Around 80% of buildings in the surrounding cities were damaged. The disaster claimed the lives of 11 people. The water ripped topsoil from 40 square kilometers of fertile fields. It took nearly three months to remove the rubble after the flood, while overall damage and relief efforts cost the state about $320 million. The tragedy happened for one single reason. It was decided to fill the reservoir before the dam construction was officially finished. Consequently, the water leaked through the cracks in the wall. Then it washed off the earthen foundations and burst onto the land. But what about the Three Gorges Dam I mentioned at the beginning of the video? It was completed in 2003 and its construction budget was almost $32 billion. It's 181 m high and more than 2 kilometers long. In 2020, the dam held out against an extremely violent monsoon season and no technical problems were found. Considering how much the Three Gorges project cost, it's safe to say there's no need to worry about the maintenance quality. And yet, a few days after the dam had become operational, 80 cracks were discovered in its surface. Could the engineers have badly miscalculated at the earliest stages of construction? A mistake made by builders or an attempt to save money on a project may lead to dozens or even hundreds of human deaths. The Sardoba Dam failure that happened in Uzbekistan is a vivid example. 
In 2020, one of the reservoir walls could no longer resist water pressure and crumbled down. To stop the structure from collapsing altogether, the dam gates were opened. As a result, around 500 million cubic meters of water drained out. This entire volume was supposed to go through the southern Golanaski Canal to the Ida Arnasai system of lakes. But the canal network wasn't designed for such a tremendous amount of water. Therefore, more than 350 kilometers of land suffered from the flood. Cotton fields and villages were submerged. The government had to evacuate 111,000 local residents and six people died. When investigating the reasons behind the catastrophe, law enforcement bodies discovered that the company responsible for the dam construction had decided to save costs on materials. As a result, the structure was way too thin and broke under water pressure. And that wasn't the only calamity where the human factor played a key role. I'm talking about the accident at the Aker Aluminina plant in Hungary. In 2010, a caustic waste reservoir tumbled down, releasing a torrent of thick red sludge toward the Danube River. In total, the reservoir spouted around a million cubic meters of waste material that day. Waves of toxic red mud were up to 2 m in height. They overturned cars, uprooted trees, and flooded houses and fields. The torrent found its way to the Danube and polluted its waters with heavy metals. The government had no other choice but to evacuate around 8,000 people. Ten local citizens died, and 150 more suffered injuries and chemical burns. Although an even worse disaster caused by miscalculation happened in 1963 at the Baldwin Hills Dam in the USA. The reservoir was constructed on one of the highest hills in the region. It was confined on three sides by earthen dikes and the Baldwin Hills Dam on the fourth side. However, the builders overlooked one crucial factor. The soil under the reservoir was unstable and could crumble at any moment. This is exactly what happened in mid-December 1963. The reservoir keeper noticed sudden leakage through the dam wall. A couple of hours later, the whole construction fell apart. More than a million cubic meters of water streamed outward. The uncontrollable flow destroyed around 300 houses and inundated a territory that was home to 16,000 people. The number of victims could reach 1,500 civilians. Luckily, local authorities took timely measures and evacuated villages who lived in downstream areas, but five people could not be saved. The current carried one of those bodies 1,200 them away from the person's home. Just imagine how many citizens could get hurt if the Three Gorges Dam collapses. In comparison, the volume of water stored in the Chinese reservoir is 40 million times greater than that. And besides, the construction project wasn't flawlessly implemented either. In case of a massive flood, which is quite a common thing for the region, around 250 billion cubic meters of water are likely to pass through the dam. At the same time, the reservoir has capacity of only 9% of the mentioned volume. It looks like if the flood comes up, the three gorges will not break but will be overfilled. In fact, carelessness of dam operators can do even more damage than natural hazards. In 2018, at one of Colombia's biggest hydropower stations in the town of Itanego, three landslides occurred one by one. Because of that, the river's diversion tunnel was blocked and the water had nowhere to go. The two remaining tunnels had been sealed during construction and the station engineers couldn't open them even when they use explosives. To prevent a dam breach in a deluge, they decided to release water through the station's powerhouse. As a result, expensive equipment disappeared underwater, but a catastrophe was avoided, or rather postponed. Due to heavy rains, the water kept rising and reached a critical level, plus 5M in the reservoir. Sooner or later, it was inevitably going to pour over the top edges of the dam. It didn't do it only because at some point, one of the sealed tunnels naturally reopened. The water flow, three times more powerful than usual, spurted downstream. The same day, authorities ordered residents of eight riverside municipalities to evacuate. There were 120,000 people, and only 15 of them managed to do that. Until today, there's no official information about those killed and injured. And while the officials claim that the tragedy was caused by landslides and rains, local activists believe that the responsibility rests with the dam workers and their negligence. The thing is a construction company had cut down the forest that had occupied the reservoir site. It was essential to collect and remove felled trees, and this wasn't done. In theory, the diversion tunnel could be blocked by the plant remains. 
Although this carefree attitude of a damn builder seems less shocking once you learn about the Cyanotskaya power station accident, when the negligence of the workers led to the death of almost 100 people. The Cyanotskaya power station was considered Russia's largest and most modern facility of its kind. It was built in 1978 on one of the longest rivers in the world named Yang Ice. The height of the dam was incredible, 245 m. The station was equipped with 10 turbines. One of them, turbine number two, underwent modernization at the beginning of 2009 and got a cutting-edge rotational speed regulator. Then in August of the same year, a horrible disaster occurred at the dam. In the morning, staff noticed that the second turbine's water consumption was higher than usual. It started vibrating and making strange noises. Fifty workers gathered in the machinery hall, but none of them took the risk of stopping the turbine. That because nobody had the authority to do that except for the plant's general director, who was busy celebrating his anniversary. The director was nowhere to be found, and his subordinates didn't want to take responsibility for breaking workplace rules. At 8 a.m., there was a loud bang at the station. The turbine cover came up and the giant rotor, a moving component that weighed 920 tons, shot out of its seat. Without delay, water spouted into the machinery hole at 255 cub mi second. The hydraulic turbine short-circuited, leading to a local blackout. The steel gates of the water intake pipes had to be closed manually. The whole process took around two hours. By that time, the roof of the machinery hole crashed down and the water kept coming in. The workers had to open all damn spillway gates to reduce the water level. When the rescue team arrived at the site, it had to disassemble almost 5,000 cubic meters of rubble. Subsequently, 14 people were saved. But 75 station workers who were in the turbine hole in lower rooms when everything happened were found dead. Moreover, the destruction caused an oil spill into the Yanessa. About 40 tons of petroleum mixed with water escaped the Sayano Shushin Sky Power Station and spread over the river. The spill stretched 15 kilometers in length and it was entirely removed only seven days after the catastrophe. What's interesting, only one month before the accident, the Sayano Shushin Sky Power Station had set an all time electricity production record. In 2020, the same thing was achieved at the Three Gorges Dam in China. Because of the extensive rainfalls, the dam's energy production reached 112 million megawatt per hour. As for now, this is an absolute record that no other power plant in the world has beaten. Running the turbines at full load had tragic consequences for the Sayanushka station. If operators of the Three Gorges Dam attempt to improve its performance any further, the equipment may suddenly break down there as well. But what if the countdown to the fateful moment has already begun? My anxiety stems from the fact that there might occur a natural disaster able to destroy the dam. What makes such disasters extremely dangerous is the human inability to predict them. In 2021, in the Indian state of Uttarand, powerful flood waters came from nowhere and burst open a dam situated on the Rishia Ganga River. This torrent swept everything in its path and damaged several dams and power stations. One of them was still in the construction phase, so there were dozens of workers at the site. As a result, 204 people died. But what caused that violent flood in the first place? Scientists at the Wadia Institute of Himalayan Geology did some research and discovered that the powerful wave rose after a piece of glacier broke off and slid down. A crack appeared on one of the mountain peaks in the Ninda Devi National Park. It kept extending and finally a giant chunk of rock and ice with a volume of about 2 million cubic meters fell from a 2 kilometers tall mountaintop right into the river. Nobody could have foreseen this type of catastrophe. Just like nobody could predict the Vian Dam disaster that happened in Italy. This structure was built in 1960 and still remains one of the tallest dams on the planet, as its wall reaches almost 262 m in height. Its reservoir was designed to have a storage capacity of 170 million cubic meters of water. In the first year after it had been filled for the first time, an apparent perimeter crack opened on the Monte Talk mountain looming right over the dam. Then in late 1960, a minor landslide occurred on one of the slopes. Geologists got concerned and warned everyone that fully exploiting the dam potential was risky. It could eventually send a giant piece of rock as heavy as 720 million tons plunging into the lake. The Vion Dam operators listened to the scientists and lowered the reservoir water level by 20 m. The authorities and station workers were sure that a landslide wouldn't cause any harm to the structure or the local population. 
That's why when in the autumn of 1963, an enormous mass of soil and rocks collapsed down the slope towards a reservoir, the engineers weren't scared and gathered on top of the dam to witness the scene. They were the first to die. The problem was that the landslide was moving three times faster than geologists had predicted at almost 113 kilometers hour. This created two gigantic tsunamis. One of them was approaching the dam, and the other one was going the opposite direction towards several villages. Approximately 275 million tons of water rushed over the reservoir top. The wave completely destroyed the town of Londrin. At rough estimates, around 2,000 people got killed that day. Today, the Monte Tonk event is defined as the deadliest and largest rockfall in European history. However, not only landslides can be lethally dangerous, earthquakes can destroy dams with the same ease. And if anything poses a threat to the Three Gorges Dam, that would be them. Because as you remember, the dam directly impacts this natural process. Geologists have recently proved that changes in the reservoir water level influence the gravity field in western Sichuan. In tone, it can increase seismic activity in the region and trigger earthquakes. That means the Three Gorges Dam is prone to self-destruction. But what will happen if this immense thing collapses? In case of an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.5 or more, the cracks on the dam wall will start growing and eventually one of them will start seeping. The leak will be small at first, but pretty soon 40 trillion kilograms of water stored in the reservoir will burst through the dam wall and hit the valley. A wave reaching about 30m in height will roll down the Yangtze at a tremendous speed. There will be no trace left of the villages and towns located on the river banks. 500 kilometers downstream lies Wuhan with a population of 10 million people. The flood following the dam burst will submerge most of the city. The government will need to evacuate the residents of riverside regions from the area covering up to 1,000 kilometers downstream. Hundreds of thousands of houses will turn into ruins and hundreds of square kilometers of fields will be swamped. The flood may cause severe damage to around 15 million locals. Some of the victims will get killed or badly injured, and some of them will go missing or become refugees. Around 100 million people will be affected by the dam failure in one way or another. The country will lose more than $100 billion. This accident may basically become the worst catastrophe in history. What do you think?